hey guys welcome back to my channel guys so guys i am having another product with me so this is a new product that i really needed from the long time for my laptop because i wanted to upgrade my laptop with the external uh, internal ssd uh, so guys i bought this one so this is a two samsung two terabyte 970 evo plus nvme 2.0 m.2 ssd which can read speed up to 35000 mbps so so guys uh, this one is a very famous samsung ssd made in korea i i seen a lot of review on it and that's why i bought it from the best buy and this one is cost me around 114 us dollar here in usa uh, yeah so this one is for the two terabyte they have multiple uh, multiple storage option like a 500 uh, gb to up to eight terabyte i guess well, i'm not sure about they have more than that but uh, definitely yeah they have a lot of option to that you can buy so very simple box they just uh, very small packaging 2 terabyte hard drive you just uh, do a quick unboxing and use it so let's do a quick unboxing first guys so guys i just opened the box now i just remove this uh, ssd from the box so let's remove that so this is the ssd guys uh, it has the plastic cover on it just remove that put it side very simple unboxing guys and this is the ssd guys in my hand right now very small and compact so it say the V and SST Samsung electronics very compact size guys I haven't thought like this small size so let me uh, install in my dex uh, this uh, laptop and let's see how's the speed and read write and all I'm going to do that also later in this video guys uh, so let me install this first in the my uh, laptop and so just stay with me too if you are guys interested in buying this kind of SSD for your laptop to upgrade so just stay with me if you want to upgrade your laptop just remove the, all the screws from this uh, bottom of my laptop and now I'm going to open this uh, uh, this uh, back cover to install the SSD okay guys so I just remove the back cover now I have already installed the this regular SSD uh, by myself as like long way back ago this is also from the Samsung I installed very like long ago now I'm also going to upgrade this laptop with this uh, new SSD I have one slot for that so I'm going to install at that place so first I need to find out the where is this slot I think this is the slot guys so I just install here and this is a screw that I need to fit here let me install that okay guys so I just installed the SSD on its place and now I'm going to uh, start up my laptop and see it, it its work or not so I'm going to detect that so let me do that first uh, okay guys so I'm just uh, booting up my system uh, my laptop and uh, now I'm going to check the hard uh, this new SSD m.2 is installed or not so I'm going to check inside the device uh, manager so let me check that so guys I just opened the device manager now now let's ch check uh, this uh, disk drive here so guys as you can see this is the one second what's happened so let me see if my drive get detected okay so guys uh, currently i'm not able to see my drive here so let me ch check first in the device manager So, so guys as you can see the this uh, SSD is detected is for the 2 terabyte SSD 
so this get detected so drive is there but uh, I don't know why it's not showing up here in the disk drive section of this PC in my computer it's not showing up so uh, so guys uh, I need to do some research online and need to find out uh, why it's not showing up let me open the my SSD for the Samsung manager okay so it's showing up the two drive so that also detected okay enabled trims oh it's say like re rapid more not supported okay I don't know what's that but this is a PCIe gen 3x4 SSD so let me do some research and get back to you guys so guys I after doing some research I find out that uh, I need to install the driver for this uh, Samsung SS SSD so because of some reason the Microsoft uh, didn't uh, detect automatically so that's why I need to install the driver from the Samsung website so I just installed the driver and now my computer getting restart uh, hope it's uh, detect and um, hope it work so let me get back to you on that once it uh, my computer boot up completely finally I just uh, set up the my this uh, SSD and now it's showing up in this uh, disk management uh, application so as you can see it's showing up as a disk one here and uh, it has a size of around 1800 1863 GB it's actually a 2 terabyte but I don't know why it's showing up like this so the drive is currently showing up uh, so I did the uh, uh, disk uh, I did uh, some run one memory diagnostic application but uh, I don't think so you need to do that I, I you just open this disk manager if you are able to see the disk then it drive is detected that's fine now I just need to uh, create a partition so so for that I just need to click on right click on and then new sample volume next next and then I need to assign the drive letter like uh, assign the drive letter so, so I just assign the letter here E now click on the next and choose the format partition so what kind of format partition you want so I just uh, leave the as it is I don't going to change format this volume with the following setting NTFS default uh, volume label you can change the volume label here I am going to change the volume label to M2 space SSD backup M2 M2 SSD I just put it the M2 SSD for now So guys I, I just uh, select the whatever format uh, so I just started formatting with the uh, quick formatting option removed sorry about that I didn't able to record that previous options now the formatting just started with the NTFS format I, I didn't change much I just remove the option the, for the quick format I just uh, did the regular format because I am installing for the first time so it currently doing formatting it might take a while so I'm getting back to back to you once it's done so guys so finally my SSD is installed and it's showing up uh, in the my computer now as you can see it's showing up as an E drive MS SSD M.2 SSD actually uh, I just put that label because you can put whatever label you want one second currently it's completely empty it's not have any data on it so now I, I haven't decided what I how I am going to use this drive but uh, I definitely use it as a backup uh, of my computer some some data so so guys uh, if you anybody interested in buying an SSD and if your laptop support the 
as this uh, m.2 uh, esmc uh, sorry nvme ssd then definitely go check out this uh, ssd it uh, very helpful and it uh, helped you to expand your storage for sure and uh, day by day the ssd price is getting cheaper and cheaper so just go check out i have i bought it from the waste buy and it cost me around 114 dollar for the two terabyte not bad so uh, sorry i forgot uh, to do a speed test on my ssd so let me try that so this is the my ssd guys i just selected it and let me run this performance benchmark here in this samsung magician uh, software so currently it's running the benchmark guys let's see what's the percentage i i get so currently performance test is in progress test is very fast i don't think it takes so much time okay guys it's almost done let's see the what number i get so guys for the sequential i get the uh, 3532 mbps i guess yeah mbps and uh, for the right it's the 2747 and the, for the random i ops was that i don't get it but it also has a lot big number read and write is both are very high so you can just get uh, get an idea so guys uh, hope you also get an idea about the read write speed uh, so guys uh, this is the result guys hope it's you, you get get more information about the read write hope you guys like this video and definitely get some helpful information from this video so guys uh, finally i achieved my 1000 subscriber and i'm hoping to get the 10000 subscriber in near future of the maybe end of this year so hope hope it work out well in future also and i keep making good video and useful video for the people who are interested in the tech and all so just stay with me to see the future video guys uh, have a nice day bye take care